right, good morning again, guys. And for those of you who, again, didn't hear uh, yesterday, the reason why I'm doing this this way, I'm recording the actual video on my iPhone and then uploading it to Facebook later, is uh, I got a little tired of, one, the poor uh, Facebook feed quality. I was getting interrupted a lot because the feed would drop. Uh, I was getting, it was just getting irritating. And plus it uses a lot of cell data. So, cause that stuff obviously doesn't happen when I am at home on my Wi-Fi network. So again, it used a whole ton of cell data and that's just not good. For those of you who have families, yeah, using the cell data kind of sucks. So anyway, here we are. So, uh, in the last 24 hours, there have been a couple things that happened. Um, we talked about taxes a little bit yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and hit that again because you really cannot overemphasize that enough. And one thing you have to realize, guys, is taxes. Taxes are the government taking money from you. Now, I don't mean this necessarily to sound malicious because taxes are a part of life. But that is the government taking money from you. I mean, pure and simple. So when your taxes get increased, the government takes more money from you. When they get decreased, the government takes less money from you. And again, this is not difficult. It's an easy concept to grasp. And I'm not quite sure why people don't understand this. Now, I actually heard a very good point yesterday, and that was if you want to get people to understand what taxes are, don't take taxes out of their paycheck. Make them write the check or run their debit card for their taxes every single month. And I think that's very accurate. You know, we get, we get our paychecks and we look at them and we say, okay, great, here's what I have. But the problem is if you dig into your paycheck, your actual pay is higher. Now, how much higher depends on one, how much you're uh, making, two, how much you're withholding, three, any you know benefits or stuff you might have that gets taken out too, pre-tax, a lot of stuff does. So, it makes sense if you let's say you get you make I don't know let's make it real simple let's say you make forty eight thousand dollars a year which me, theoretically means you should be getting four thousand dollars a month gross for those of you who don't know what gross means gross means before any expenses are taken out so again four thousand dollars gross now at forty eight thousand dollars I believe you're in the 25 or will be rather in the 25% tax bracket so you would end up after federal taxes are taken out and this doesn't include any of the other stuff the FICA or any of the other goofy stuff they do so if they take out for federal taxes that means your your net check is now just after the federal taxes three thousand dollars So that's a lot of taxes, it is. Now, of course, I'm oversimplifying it a little bit, but still, if it were a flat 25%, that's what it would be. Now, that's not it though, because you also have, you're also gonna have your, uh, you're also gonna have your social security tax, the FICA thing taken out. You're also gonna have any benefits you get, you know, medical, dental, vision, hopefully vision. But uh, anything like that, that's also gonna be taken out. So your total check, the total that you make, you know, your net, after all the expenses are taken out, what you net, what you actually get to spend, may only be $2,600, $2,500, something like that. So that's quite a bit of difference. You're actually, sorry, your net take home is only about 35% of what you make if that scenario holds. 
that's a lot of money, guys. So if you think about it, if you had to every month go to the bank and run your debit card or run your, you know, write a check out to the treasury department, and it was for fifty or it was uh, for fifteen hundred dollars or even a thousand dollars. I'll tell you what, guys, you're gonna want tax reform yesterday. It isn't gonna be something where, oh, I don't know if we should do that. Uh-uh. It's gonna be, hey, y'all better knock this number down, and I mean right now. So that's a good, you know, and I agree. I think that's a good way to do it. So the next time you get your paycheck, this is what I'm gonna, this is my ask of you, whoever's watching. The next time you get a paycheck, check out your gross income and then check out your net income. And see what that number is. And then we'll see how you view taxes after that. Okay? Now, moving on. There was news yesterday, and unfortunately I haven't had much of a chance to research this yet, that the Freedom Caucus, that's the conservative quote-unquote wing of the Congressional Republicans, that the Freedom Caucus was actually very, very close, if not there, to supporting um, a version of repeal and replace of the Affordable Care Act. Now this is big because they were one of the main obstacles to it getting passed in the first place and a lot of people would say they're the main reason that it didn't pass. I disagree, but whatever. So if they're ready to jump on board, there's probably going to be some better stuff there because there are some dyed-in-the-wool conservatives on that group. We'll see. <coughs> it would be interesting, I know, to see whether or not, or what rather, gets held up. Because I think there was 12 major things in that and... Their big thing was, look, we're only taking out like two or three with the old bill. I think they would be okay if we could take out six to start. And I may be wrong on that. I will have to look at that a little more and then get back to you later. One other big thing, one nice thing about doing it this way, uh, these video things this way, is now I can do one in the morning, I can do one whenever I want, and I don't have to worry about being on Facebook Live. I'm not restricted by that, by the data and bandwidth limitations of the cell network nearby. I just record it and send it up. It's that simple. And it's recorded in high definition already. Although if I was going to do that, I probably should turn the camera sideways, which I may do. Anyway, kind of going on to a little bit different subject, uh, for those of you who are Android fans, I have, I got to see, I didn't get to play with it because frankly I didn't have time and two, it kind of seemed inappropriate to ask the person to do that, given that I don't know her very well. But um, I got to see the new Galaxy S8 Plus. Holy mother of God, that phone is huge. And I say that, I'm, I'm recording this on an iPhone 6 Plus. My wife has a 7 Plus. They're big phones. This thing is enormous. And I don't know if I'm that big a fan of that size. It's uh, the thing I guess that kind of weirds me out a little bit about it too. It's very narrow. It's very, it looks like a stick, uh, relatively. And I mean, I know it works great. I saw the person using it and it was lightning fast, which is cool. A lot of the issues that I have with <clears throat> the Android system initially, of course, are still there. Now, don't get me wrong. If I was going to get an Android, it would be a Galaxy. Samsung's products are fantastic. They have come a long way from being the boat anchors in disguise from the 1980s. Their TVs are awesome. There are a few that I would take above a Samsung TV simply because I love their motion processors. I think they work the best. Um, and bang for the buck, they're hard to beat, frankly. Phone-wise, their Galaxy S phones are great. I have an old Galaxy uh, Tab 2, and it works really well. 
Um, obviously, it's quite old now, and the one of the problems, and I'll come to that in a minute, is that the OS is quite old on it. But for what I needed to do, it does it just fine. But anyway, so that's done. And of course, the main competitor to that is going to be the new iPhones that are coming out here in a little bit. Um, supposedly, there's going to be three iPhones coming out. Uh, a revision of the 7, called the 7S, which is what Apple usually does. But since this is the 10th anniversary of the iPhone, there's rumors going around, and they're pretty substantiated now. It's all but guaranteed that there will be a third iPhone model, and this will actually be the iPhone 8. Now, this is going to be kind of weird because... So you push forward, you've got a 7S and an 8, all new at the same time. Hmm. Kind of weird, but I don't know, not unheard of. There haven't been many things that I've seen about the 7S. Of course, I really haven't looked, but my focus has been on the the new one, the iPhone 8 or iPhone X or whatever you want to call it. Supposedly it's going to have an OLED screen. Now Samsung, you guys have been using this for a long time. Apple hasn't been convinced of the quality of it. They wanted to get it up to their standards. Apparently they've done that now, if rumors are to be believed. Uh, so it will probably have an edge-to-edge -edge OLED screen that may even have more usage than the Samsung phones. There's talk that they're going to eliminate the uh, dedicated home button. Now, as you may or may not know, on the iPhone 7, it no longer pushes in. It's a virtual, or it's not a virtual home button. It's uh, It's got a little uh, haptic feedback engine in there that makes it feel like a press, and it's very, very good. Extremely good. But... Uh, and the reason why they did that was to improve its water resistance, the iPhone's water resistance. And so again, if they eliminate the touch button, the home button entirely, and make it part of the screen, well, boy oh boy, that's gonna just enhance that even more. And uh, it'll make it a whole new experience. There's also talk that it's going to have facial, facial recognition or iris recognition. Again, not a new technology by any means. So they're kind of playing catch up on that one. Um, the orientation of the cameras, I've seen some spy shots that show instead of being, you know, on the top of the camera horizontally, they're gonna be vertically oriented. We'll see about that. A lot of this stuff right now is kind of, eh, maybe. It's kind of like the Corvettes. When new Corvettes come out, um, you get a lot of rumors Lot, you see a lot of spy or uh, alpha and beta vehicles testing, have a lot of camel on them. Until you actually see the product, you don't know. Or in the case of the C7, until a manufacturer uh, accidentally releases sketches or accidentally re releases a CAD drawing of the entire front end of the car, you really don't know what it looks like. Talking of that, actually, um, I'll get back. We'll do this later. I'm going to read up on that uh, the proposed, the new version of ACA repeal, and I'll get back to you guys later on that. And actually, I kind of want to do talk a little about. I do want to talk a little bit about some rumors about the uh, Corvette ZR1 that I'm hearing. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Enjoy.